just, this is how we hang out. This is just how I sit sometimes. Hey everybody, Jared from NYPost.com's Pop Rap here with Ari Grainer at Aspen Social Club in New York City talking all about her new movie, Holy Rollers, and what you can expect from her pairing with Anna Faris. If I have to see one more Hasidic Jew smuggling drugs movie. Ecstasy. It's like, enough already. Ugh. I know, I know. I wish that they could have come up with an original story. <laughs> I really do. I'm curious what the initial appeal was for you when you read the script. The fact that it was based on true events, and um, I was surprised that uh, I didn't, I hadn't heard more about the story when it happened. And it was important to me that Rachel not just be sort of the blank girlfriend in a pretty dress. And much like Jesse's character, he's trying to figure out where he fits in, and he's sort of trying on different hats in different places. I think she's been sort of visiting this world of drugs and partying and then she meets this sweet, sweet soul that's so different from the people she's been with and she's really just sort of playing another fantasy for a moment and is not really sure where she's gonna go next. You don't have to be so nervous. I'm not gonna rat you out to your rabbi. Now, your character in the film dropped out of Hebrew school, she says at one point. Yeah, obviously I did not drop out of Hebrew school. I am totally a bat mitzvah. Amazing, can you do um, a little bit of your Haftorah portion for us right now? Vahakimoti et priti. I, I mean, I could keep going. Some things you never, never forget. I bet you weren't expecting that. I can't even just pull that out. I used to do musical theater when I was a kid. And uh, yes, the rumors are true. I was in Voices of the Night, the a cappella singing group in my high school. Our mascot was the knight, spelled with a K. So cleverly enough, we were Voices of the Night. I know you've done voices on The Cleveland Show and yes. American Dad. I played a, I think a stripper in one, and then I played like a crack addict in another. Okay, listen. Is anyone this seeing sort of a pattern here? If What's Your Number takes off the way we oh, all look expect at you. it to. Oh, look at you, bringing up the new film. I love it. The posts on my website go like this. Oh my God, new Anna Faris movie. Um, they keep casting with amazing people. <laughs> so what's your numbers a reference to how many people you've boned? Um, AK had the S-E-X with, for those of you oh, that don't I, know what I boning didn't. means. I was, I was um, unclear. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm getting married and she breaks up with her boyfriend and she sort of can't believe she's gonna have to go to her little sister's wedding alone. And uh, she reads this article that says, basically if, if, if a woman has slept with over 20 guys, you're a hoe bag who's never going to get married. So, um... You're paraphrasing, I'm sure. I, I'm, well, <laughs> not that much. It's an R. It's an R-rated comedy. Fair enough. I actually am sort of playing the more together sister in this relationship, and I am sober during the film. I mean... I don't know how I'm gonna get through it, uh, but, I mean, here's to challenges. Oh! Damn it. You I, broke. I broke. I broke.